Okay, joining us on House Armed Services, Congressman Corey Mills. The Florida congressman is a decorated U.S. Army combat veteran who served America with the 82nd Airborne. Okay, Congressman, it's good to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Good to okay, see you. we're going to show this video. We had protesters demonstrating in President Biden's uh, in front of his San Francisco hotel, demanding a ceasefire in Gaza. But Congressman, I want to get to this. What was your reaction when you saw the White House releasing 500 new sanctions against Russia? Any teeth to this? I mean, I think there's something. Edward Lawrence said 4,000 sanctions already. Is this is Putin going to back down with this? No, this is not going to intimidate Putin in any way. And. As you've seen, I mean, Putin even said that in this presidential election, he's hopeful and hopes that Biden will become the president because he's the most predictable. Look, we've continued to utilize sanctions against Russia. We've continued to try and go ahead and put in things, but he continues to weaken those when he doesn't, you know, basically acknowledge the China, Russia, Iran, North Korea geopolitical alignment. So with China and Russia, unless he's willing to actually hold China as an adversarial nation uh, accountable as well, then this is just going to be a bypass. And I don't think this intimidates uh, Vladimir Putin in any way. Yeah, it was rattling viewer, uh, you know, people at the start of the hour was there's breaking news about another new mysterious balloon floating over the West that it was spotted in Colorado. The military now tracking it. No indication where it came from. No indication it came from China. It just echoes a year ago, the Chinese spy balloon. Right. But you know, there's this other thing too. The president did make a new gaffe on the geopolitical stage after meeting Alexei Navalny's uh, widow, Yul Yulia. He called her Yolanda. Watch this. This morning I had the honor of meeting with Alexei Navalny's wife and daughter. The one thing I made that was made clear to me is that uh, Yolanda is going to she's going to continue to to fight. What do you say, sir? Well, look, you know, Congressman Ronnie Jackson has put forth a, the fifth letter that is challenging the mental competency and requesting a test. And there's no one more qualified than Congressman Jackson, who has actually served as a White House physician under three different presidents. I think that we've seen the mental and cognitive decline. But if he is so competent, then I think this answers two questions. One, if he's cognitive and he can actually show his mental capacity, then he should be brought up on the indictment charges for the mishandling of classified information, as special uh, counsel Her has talked about. If he is not, then we should be looking at the invoking of the 25th Amendment to remove him. This is a guy, well, let's remind everyone, that has the nuclear football. He's in charge of our foreign and domestic policies. And if he has a mental and cognitive decline, I think the American people see that and should know. But MSNBC host said Lawrence O'Donnell just he's saying, ignore the gaffes, ignore the blunders, ignore what the voters are saying is concern about cognitive decline because it's what is, its policies are what matter. What do you say to that? Well, then I would say to go ahead and start focusing on inflation, which is rising at a quicker rate than the minimum wage. I think that we should look at our open borders and the eight plus million people who's come across, the 1.8 million gotaways, the hundreds on the FBI terrorist watch list, the decline in the 41,000 plus in the recruitment deficit of our armed forces. I can point to a plethora, a line by line on all of the failures, domestic and foreign policy by the administration. So if that's the metric or that's the litmus test, then I think that he should be removed for that as well. Got it. Congressman Mills, thanks for your service to our nation. It's good to see you. Thank you. God bless. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.